Hey guys, so in this tutorial, let's check out how to create a custom number stepper in Flutter. So you can see, I have a button. When I press on this button, you can see this is the custom number uh, stepper selector where the user will be able to increment and select a number with a given range. And when he press on this done button, you can see the selected number is it. Okay, so let's check out how to implement this in our Flutter app. Okay, so now we are in our Android Studio IDE and here is a Flutter project being created by name Flutter Number Stepper. And I have removed all the default code that is the counter code given by Flutter and added my own widgets. So in scaffold widget, I have three widgets that is text widget, sized box and elevated button. Okay, so now when this elevated button is being pressed, I want to show a dialog box. Uh, at the center of my screen where I'm going to show my custom stepper uh, number stepper okay so let's create our custom uh, widget over here okay so for that in the lib directory just create one more file and you can just name it as your uh, number stepper okay or you can just name it anything as per your needs okay so here we are going to create a custom uh, widget that we are going to show in our dialog box when this button is being pressed okay so let's create it okay so now in number stepper dart file here first of all we must import material dot dart so that we can make use of our widgets that is stateful and stateless widget so in our case we are going to make use of stateful widget okay so let's give a name to this class as uh, number stepper okay so this will be our uh, widget name okay so here we need to pass three parameters or we need to accept three parameters sorry uh, five parameters i think so so the first parameter will be initial value okay so likewise we need minimum and maximum okay and final steps and here we also need to create a function which will be of type integer Okay, so this will be on change okay so after creating uh, initializing our variables we need to create a constructor of this stepper widget okay so let's do that okay so our constructor is been created over here now let's create a widgets that will be in that will be shown in this widget so that will be our uh, row widget okay so here int current value let's set it to zero initially init state so inside init state we will initialize this current value so current value is equal to widget dot initial value okay and now here in the stateful widget let's create a row widget so row widget so the main access alignment main access alignment will be space around so inside children button we need to show two buttons and at the center we need to show a text widget so we can make use of icon button over here icon button on press what should happen okay and the icon let's show an icon dot remove so remove will be a minus sign okay so when this button is been pressed what should happen will do is afterward so let's create a ui first so at the center we need to show a text widget that is the selected uh, number okay so underscore current value dot to string okay so let me do styling for this style text style font size 40 we can give 30 okay and let's copy this button widget also and paste it over here okay so here the button will be add okay so now when this button is been pressed what should happen and when this button is been pressed 
what should happen we need to code over here so all you need to do is we just need to increment this value by one or value by the step that is being passed over here and we must check if it should not uh, be less than this minimum value and it should not be greater than this maximum value passed to this uh, widget okay so let's do it over here now okay so state set state if current value is greater than widget dot minimum then we need to decrement the current value so current value is equal to widget dot step okay so here steps uh, simply defines that how much uh, increment and decrement should happen for example if we pass it as one then the when the button is being pressed the value will get incremented or decremented by one okay so the same thing we need to do for our uh, add button so here okay so here we need to do minus and here we need to do plus okay so uh, immediately after doing this we need to send uh, the data back to our uh, main function okay so let's do make use of this function over here okay so we can make use of this widget dot on change and here we can just pass the current value that has been set okay so our uh, custom number stepper widget is been created so let's use it in our main dot dart page in this button so when this button is been pressed first of all we need to show a dialog box so let's create it over here so dialog context and builder we need to initialize over here so the context will be same okay so in builder we need to show our uh, alert dialog so let's create it alert dialog so in alert dialog we need to pass uh, two param uh, properties that is title so the title we can give as text widget and then the second property is context okay so in context we are going to show our uh, widgets that we have created so this widget we are going to show in the context okay so for that first of all we need to import it so import number stepper dot dart okay so now you can make use of this widget over here number stepper okay so you can see here we need to pass three parameter or uh, all the five parameters initial value minimum maximum step and the function okay so let's pass it okay so here initial value will be zero okay and the minimum will be zero you can just set it anything okay and maximum i will just set it to 50 okay and the step the number of increment it should happen i will just keep it as one and on change okay so now in the initial value just let's declare a variable over here and let's pass it selected number i will just name it as okay so let's pass it over here okay and the selected number i want to show it in this text widget so let's use it over here by making use of flower brackets okay and now selected number is equal to value okay so hope so this works so i'll just run this project and let's check if it is working or no okay i think so i just made some mistakes in this stepper widgets okay so here it is if it is greater than minimum then you can just uh, min minus it and yeah so here we need to check less than okay if current value is less than minimum then you can just increment it okay so let's hot refresh and check Okay, so still it is not working so let me check it what has happened okay so after checking i got to know what what i have done mistake so here i was using minimum okay so here we must make use of maximum and it started working 
So let me show you. So you can see. Okay, so see, see if it will not go be below zero and it will not go below 50 as defined. Okay, so let's make it 10 and let's check. Okay, so it is not going beyond 10 and it is not going beyond zero. Okay, so now if you want to increment this by two, you can just change this to two. Okay, hot refresh and let's check. Yeah, so you can see it is getting incremented by two each time. Okay, so that's all for this video tutorial. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe protocoders point and the complete source code of this uh, tutorial will be on my website protocoders point.com. You can just check the link in the description. Okay, so that's it. Yeah.